It already feels like spring here in Arizona where pitchers and catchers officially report this week for both the Cubs and the White Sox. Here at Sloan Park, home of the Cubs, many players are arriving early. New manager David Ross is here as he tries to turn around what's been a downward trend for the Cubs since winning the World Series title in 2016. It's the opposite for the White Sox. They added some big free agents like Dallas Keuchel and Yasmani Grandal to an already pretty talented young roster. Throw in the return of Michael Kopech and hopefully the emergence of Luis Robert and you've got a team dealing with high expectations. At SoxFest three weeks ago, Sox players said they're not afraid of the hype. I think we have the same like the same team like Minnesota. They they have a really good team last year. They made the playoffs, and uh, I think we we kind of the same this year. So that's why I say if we don't make the playoffs, I'm disappointed. To be able to be on a team that has the potential to play, you know, beyond the regular season, it, it means a lot to a player like myself. So I'm I'm hoping we're able to do something huge this year. We have a lot of guys who've been around the league for a while. Um, and now it's pretty much just getting down to the young guys. We're going to need the whole 40-man roster to help, it, to help us get to where we need to get. So everybody has to understand the fact that they're all going to have a role. And at the end of the day, if we succeed, it's going to be because of the whole 40-man gave everything they had. Sox pitchers and catchers hold their first official workout on Wednesday. Looking forward to seeing how Rick Renteria handles that young bunch. We'll hear from new Cubs manager David Ross tomorrow along with Theo Epstein and Jed Hoyer as they hold their annual pre-camp press conferences to kick things off here. Covering the Cubs and Sox in Arizona, Matt Zahn, CBS 2 News.